Hey friends and welcome back to my Lion King mod adventure series. I just realized I'm not wearing my Lion King outfit, but I kind of like this better, so yeah, no big deal, <laughs> just a thing. Um, the house has been extended just a bit between episodes. I don't know why I said it in that voice. Possibly because I was a bit cheeky and just sort of yeah, did all this without showing anyone. <laughs> well, I'm showing you now, now that it's finished. We have, this is the bedroom, I'll give you a bit of a tour. Um, so, this is our little hideaway bedroom. We've got more trees. Um, quite a bit of time has passed, actually, between episodes, I have to say. There's our disturbing scar rug. But he's, he's happy there, because he can look. See, he stares through the banister in a really creepy way that creeps me out a lot. Yeah. Um, do we have a living room thing? It's, it's all very posh now. Um, I'm keeping our little hyena heads, like, on the wall there. I guess if we collect more heads, I don't know if we have to at some point, but we could, like, make heads along there or something, I don't know. Uh, and this is our little kitchen with our little grinding thing and our oven and a few bits and bobs. I haven't really sorted out all the stuff I've been collecting. Uh, but I will. It's all just there, ready to be sorted through. Um, we have a mission. We have a mission. Today's mission is, uh, we have to do something about a star altar. We have to make one and then sprinkle dust on it. Let me just check in our book exactly what it says. The last episode, we got this Rafiki dust. Uh, can be used on Star Altar to summon I just remember what Rafiki told us what we had to do and it involves using some of the dust he gave us and some silver ingots. We have silver ingots which I'm really excited about so let's just grab those because I actually did a bit of mining as well in between episodes so I've got a heap of silver. That must be the Star Altar. That is easy. We can make that straight away. Okay, cool. I was, I was a bit stressed. I was like, hmm, I can't remember, I can't remember. But actually, it's super easy. Uh, oh, no, I've forgotten already, though. I think it's that and that. Yeah, we got the star altar. Uh, I think he said to take it outside. Which feels a little like... I know this hyena is about... They only come out at night, though. I don't know why. I get it, I get it paranoid because they circle around my house at night and they're really noisy. Let's just put it... I mean, is this a good spot? I have no idea. Looks as good a spot as any. So what do we do? I mean, I think we just do something with this stuff. <gasps> Whoa! You see, he lives in you! Oh ho ho ho! Wow, Rafiki, your voice is carrying a long, long way. Simba, hi! Uh -huh. Are you are you my pet? <gasps> I just made you sit. Uh what what else am I meant to do with you? I mean, uh come with me if you want. Can you can you leave the star altar? Oh, you're so cute. Oh you can! Uh should I feed you something? Um what what would you what would you like to eat? Oh, let's put the amulet on, maybe. We can talk to him. Ma maybe. There's no guarantees. Okay. Nope. I'm just making Simba sit. Uh, hmm. So we can't talk to Simba. Uh, come inside, Simba. Come inside and we'll work this out. Welcome to your new home. Simba? Oi, come in. Uh, would Simba like some bones? I don't know what Simba eats. I have no idea. Is this something you might like? Come come over here. Is that... That... I don't know what's going on. You seem to be eating them. Was that good then, Simba? Can you, can you come inside, Simba? Because I'm a bit worried about you. Oh, I tell you what, what about... Oh, see, I don't think I should be feeding lions bits of lion. Simba, please come in. Please come in, Simba. What if I go up the stairs? Come follow me, Simba. Simba, follow me. Simba, Simba, Simba. What are you doing? Simba, what are you doing? 
Look, are you happy outside? Oh, the sunset is so pretty. I didn't realize it went all pink. That's amazing. Where, where's Simba gone? Simba? Hey, come come inside. Come inside. This is my last attempt to lure you inside. Because I'm going to go to sleep. <sighs> Be like that then. I'm, I'm just going to go to sleep. And then we're going to go and visit Rafiki. Oh, you're, you're over there. Whatever. Let's get some sleeps. It'll all make sense in the morning. Hopefully. So, I've got my uh, lion chop. Um, maybe that's going to scare Simba, actually. Let's let's not wave that at Simba. Seem to like the bones better. I have no idea. I have, I have absolutely no idea. Um, let's get the bones out anyway. Whoop. We're going to go visit Rafiki and see... What I have just done. Come on. Oh, you like the bones, yeah? Oh, no, I just made you sit. Come with me. We're going to visit Vicky. Can you swim? Oh, you're so cute. You're the cuterest. Come on. Hey, so, Rafiki, I brought a friend to, uh, to see you. What do you reckon? Yeah, no, I didn't. What, what about my friend? If a Rafiki tree falls in the Pride Lands, no one lands in it. Uh, are you being philosophical? Is that what? Look, I got a. I bought a friend. Why not go and kill some? I because it's gross. I don't. I don't. You're obviously not interested in Simba. So I have no idea what we're meant to do next. Let's check. What? Bless you. Uh, let's check the book. Whoa, we've got a new section that's opened up called An Outlandish Scheme. We ha I think it's a new set of quests. Yeah, I think that's confirmation from Rafiki. Thanks, man. Uh, use a Rafiki stick to open the large mound in the Outlands. Oh my gosh, that's what we tried to do the episode before last? Or the last episode? Um... Should I take Simba with me? Uh, can you look after Simba? I don't want to take Simba. It's where's Simba gone? Simba? Where where the freaking heck are you? Oh, you like the bones. Simba, I've got the bones. Simba? Oh there you are! You really like the bones. This is good. Now be a good lion cub and sit here. Oh, sit here and, um, yeah, keep Rafiki company. I'm going on a mission. I'll see you guys very soon. Have I got the Rafiki stick? Yes. Let's do this. Whoa, well, things are killing me, and I've only just got here. Whoa, 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 no, keep back, keep back. No, 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 come on. I just got here, I just got here. So not fair. Serious. Whoa. So um, yeah, we're back in the Outlands. <laughs> that was that was a pretty typical uh, return journey, I think. There or return welcome, I should say. Now we have to go to this big pointy thing and wave our Rafiki stick at it, which sounds simple. Anything could happen. I have no idea what's going to happen. Uh, almost fell down to a big hole. Oh, these guys, honestly, they're, they're actually quite annoying. Just sort of waving their arms at you. Uh, I need to work out what to do with their feathers, actually, because you can grind them down. Oh, and we have... Do we have lots of people hanging out here? When I say people, I mean deadly killing machines. Just one! And that was over. Oh no, there's more. Okay, we're just, we're just, uh, this is terrible, I know. We're just going to dispatch them. Because otherwise we can't go in this door. Is it any more for any more? No. Let's try this. <gasps> Whoa! Okay, so it just, I didn't, I didn't really like how it's just open. I thought that would be a door. What, what is this place? Okay. Oh, uh, maybe we can block it up. Is there anything we can block it up with? Uh, that would be a no. Um, 
Okay. So I guess since we can't close that door, we'll just go down here. This is old termite. What? Whoa, what is this place? Zero mound. What? What is it? There's all these little ante rooms. I did not expect this to be in here. This this is kind of scary actually because I'm guessing there's only one way to go. These guys are not going to be happy I'm in here is, is my other guess. Hmm. So far, so far not caring. Ooh, that's a room full of lions. <laughs> They're not attacking me, which is a relief. I wonder if these guys down here will be as, um... There's Zira. So you're the one who killed Scar. Well, it's a rumor, but it's a true rumor, so possibly. I had sworn revenge against whoever vanquished him, but you look like a dangerous enemy. Why, thank you, even with a peacock sword. Um, perhaps you could assist me in a little um, mission instead. There might be some rewards in it for you too. And of course, if you don't want to help, I'm sure these hungry, hungry outlanders will be more than willing to take care of you. I'm pretty sure they would too. So, um, what would you like? I need to accept my offer. You can start by getting me... Kiv... Kivulite? And two silver ingots. Oh man, I had some! I had some Kivulite. You're the most incompetent. Perhaps I should have attacked you after all. I, I've seen it. I've seen it, Zira. I've seen it. I've got some back, back where I came from. Was this? Okay. So when we last were in the Outlands, I raided like this termite tower thing, and there was a chest in there that had some of this Kivulite stuff. See the little red ingot. So we have everything for Zira. Uh, let's just go give it to her and see if that makes her happy and hope that she doesn't set all her friends onto us. It's quite scary walking around with these guys. Um, okay, four. Have this. Surely it doesn't take this long to collect a few ingots. Five. I've got them, I've got them. Oh, how do I give them to you? Look, I've got them. But, but I have them, I have them. Five Kivulite and two... Ah, oh, I need to give you five of them. Bloomin' Ack. I am so, 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 so happy right now. Because I found Kivulite or... But the aura with the... Pretty much the stuff we were looking for. But I was convinced that it wasn't an ore because I looked everywhere, I did so much mining and I could not find it anywhere. Only problem is there's a massive huge thing of lava that I accidentally might have maybe encouraged to fall down that big hole. I don't know if it's going to get to me here, it's taking a long time if it is. But anyway, I, just, I really just wanted to share the fact that this, this is actually real because I was convinced that it just, the only way you could find it was like in treasure troves and termite mines, which is where I found another couple. But even they're really hard to find. So I just, I'm so overjoyed right now. I just thought I'd share. I'm going to do some mining and then I'll probably see you back at Zero's and see if she'll actually take all these ingots that have taken so long to procure. <sighs> Wish me luck. I'll see you there. Bye. Okay, so in the end I managed to get 10 ingots and I'm hoping that that's good enough for Zira. These guys still make me nervous. <laughs> uh, excellent! Now I've opened up a lower cavern in this mound. There's a pool of outwater in there. Throw the ingots in and come back. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, wow, what's that? This looks magical! This looks so good! Wow! What is this thing? Some sort of altar? Do I throw the ingots in here? Hang on, how many was it? How many was it? It was like five. I'm gonna, I'm gonna separate this out. Okay, so you just throw them in? Whoa, that worked! 
Oh, we have to do more than that though. One more for luck, and then we need a couple of these. So, one, two. Is that right? What? They came back. What? It's. What is going on? Is this what's. Is this what's meant to happen? They're just sort of dancing around. One, two, and then. Wow, they didn't go in. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Um, what? Why is that? We got a present, and Kier and uh, Zira is coming down. I got something. I got something, Zira. Are you gonna tell me about it? Ah, the Outlandish Helm. That was some very useful tricks. Did you know that wild outlanders won't attack while you're wearing it? That is so good. <gasps> I need this so much. Where are you going? I I thought we were chatting. Where is she going? Now, what was it I wanted? Oh yes, three wayward feathers. What do you mean? You'll need to gather blue, yellow, red feathers from Zazus and black feathers from vultures and throw them all in the outwater. What are you waiting for? Has she got anything else to tell us? That's awesome, because I think we have them as well. So, we can possibly call this an episode... Are you meant to be in the outwater, Zira? I don't, I don't know if that's a good idea. It makes a very funny noise. Seems okay. Yeah, so as always, thanks for stopping by. If you want to have a go at this map yourself, there'll be a download link in the description below. Uh, any hints, tips, or comments, always very much welcome. And hopefully I'll see you next episode uh, when we go get some feathers and bring them back. Doing lots of fetching and carrying, essentially. But hopefully something really cool will happen. Should I just put... What's that? I'm going to put that helmet on now. Do I look good? I got fire coming out of my head. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Whoops. I do not want to walk in that water. Anywho, uh, hopefully I'll see you next episode. Later. Bye.